against gravity position. Go ahead and pull your knee up here to me. Great. See what I'm saying? 90 to 120. So if it's 15 degrees of motion, wait, relax for a second. So if it's more than half versus less than half from that starting position, okay, for that end range. So go ahead and pull that leg all the way up for me. Great. So I'm going to stabilize right here at the iliac crest. I'm going to put resistance on the most distal part of that bony lever, right? So right up um, proximal to the knee. So let me push you down. Min, mod, max. So there's your five. So let's say that she come all the way up, but, or not all the way up, but more than half. Good. So she's there. So she's more than 15 degrees, right? So go ahead and relax your leg for me. Good. So I'm going to really pull you all the way through. And if you're like, oh, I just don't know if that's half the range or not, passively range them. See what their norm is, okay? So if you're like, oh, I can't tell if it's more than half, I'm going to go passively range and see how far I can get her. And then I'll know what's more than her half, right? So she's got full passive range of motion. What am I going to do now? Grabbing. Uh, oh, three minus. Three minus. Very good. Okay, so go ahead and do about five. Okay, good. So she's not 15 degrees there, and I'm going to double check that because it's kind of close. So relax for me. Good. So I'm like, oh, there's no way that was at least halfway. So I'm going to passively range her. Got full passive range of motion. So I'm going to put her in a side um, gravity eliminated position, sideline position. So you're testing legs on the bottom, usually here. Okay, so I'm just going to lay down. We're going to have a very sturdy table here. Um, and we're going to have the mat. So I'm going to just hold this leg up out of the way. Good. I'm going to go ahead and can you bring your knee all the way up to my hand? Bend up for me. Great, great, great. Good job. So now you're looking at that 120, right, as far as her full range of motion in a gravity eliminated position. So if I have to hold this other leg up, I'm not going to be able to necessarily stabilize when I put that min resistance here, right? Okay, so now I'm applying min resistance in the opposite direction. Good. So what if she has, good, come up to, there. what if that's all she has? I've already passively ranged her, so I'm already in gravity eliminated position. Two minus. Two minus. She has some motion in that gravity eliminated plane, okay? What if there's no motion at all? You're going to palpate. Okay, and then you're going to feel for that motion. Okay? So, could you stabilize the leg in this plane of motion and say, go ahead and bend your knee up for me. Good, 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 good. You could do it that way also. See what I'm doing? So I'm testing the leg on top, but I'm stabilizing the weight of that leg because if she's so weak she can't even overcome gravity, I'm going to have to be able to really stabilize that leg. So relax for me. So you're holding the weight of all that with good body mechanics. Good. So that's what makes it hard to really hold up that somebody's leg whenever they really have that bad of an impairment. Go ahead and bend your knee up for me. Good. So then if she did that and I'm not helping, I'm just supporting, then I could apply resistance down there. So you can test either way. The way I have it written is that your test leg's on the bottom. But as long as you're supporting that leg, you can't just say, pull this knee up. Pull that knee up. Because if she's that weak, what's going to happen? She's probably going to use her adductors and all that and against gravity and come down that way. Okay. So if you do it that way, you have to make sure you're supporting that leg and that kind of motion. Okay, hip flexion. Next. Extension. And there is your prime movers. And where to palpate? And picture. Okay, prone with hip and neutral. I would never let my patient on this tiny of a table. But you're going to have big tables are the low mats. So if your low mats are in the way, if they're not high enough, make sure that you're propping the leg up with the pillow. Okay? Or we'll probably have some type of a substitution as far as a table like this. Uh, okay. So prone with the hip and neutrals, so knees flexed to 90 degrees. There you go. So I'm just going to test one at a time. Good. So hip extension. So I'm going to, so against gravity would go ahead and pull this leg up off the table for me. Good. So there's your against gravity position. And so whenever um, I'm going to apply resistance, I'm going to stabilize at the iliac crest on the side being tested. It's hard to keep it up, isn't it? Good. And then I'm going to resist at the distal end of that posterior part of the thigh. Okay. So pull it up for me. Good. Don't let me push you down. Min, mod, max. Okay. Okay. Relax for a second. Good. So say she just comes up that much. What am I going to do? I'm going to passively range her. Good. Have full passive range of motion. And it might not look like it, but you're going to feel. It's not going to be a hardened feel because more than likely it's going to be muscular, muscular or ligament um, um, stopping it. But you're going to feel whenever what their um, you know, full passive range of motion um, really is. Um, so she's at full passive range of motion. What am I going to do? Gravity eliminated position. So I'm going to put her in a sideline with the testing 
So see how this is her testing leg? So I'm going to have to hold this up if I do it this way. Good. Go ahead and bring your hip back for me. Great. Good. Now don't let me push you down. Okay. So I'm just holding it up as I'm stabilizing and pushing. Good. She can tolerate minute resistance. Or say my testing leg's on the bottom. I can scoot forward just a little bit. There you go. Good. I'm going to pull this one up out of the way. And now the table is going to be my stabilizing. Go ahead and pull this leg back for me. Good job. Good. And then I can apply minute resistance there. Okay. All right. PowerPoint. There's your prime movers. There's a picture. And where to palpate. Okay. <laughs> Hip abduction. So again, gravity position. Right? Side line. With the upper leg test. This is the one being tested with the knee and the hip extended. Lower legs flexed at hip. Lower leg is flexed at hip and knee. So you're kind of getting that one out of the way. Okay. So you are starting here. You are going to go ahead and bring this leg up as far as you can this way for me. Great. So full range of motion and gravity eliminated position, or against gravity position. We're going to stabilize at the pelvis. We're going to resist here. No, because I'm doing hip abduction. So on the um, most distal part of that bony lever. So right proximal to the knee, min, mod, max. Okay. Say she comes. Yes. How do you make sure that they're not doing Like this? Yeah. Coming that way? Yeah. I might have to stabilize them because like they're gonna try to roll out, is okay. what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm gonna just stabilize her, put her back up there, and not let her. So I might have to keep her from substituting like that by putting my hand on her pelvis. Okay. Alright, so say she comes to here. What do I do? So okay, I'm gonna see how far your leg goes, okay? Good. So full passive range of motion. And I'm gonna do this pretty gently because some people are not flexible. Okay. All right, and then what? Yep, so supine. Turn over for me. Good. All right, both lower extremities extended in neutral rotation. So I can make slightly lift. If I need to, but you're probably going to be able to glide out there. But if you need to support your surface, you can, um, or the leg. So this is. This instance, we don't have a table for her to go across, so I'm going to have to do that. So go ahead and pull your leg out as far as you can for me out here. Try to touch my hand. Great. Good. All right, and then I'm going to apply my resistance here. Min resistance. All right, go ahead and turn it for our prime movers. And where to palpate. Okay. All right, so here's where it gets a little bit trickier. So sit on that for me. It's external rotation. So, this would be two with the gravity on right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, seated with the knees flexed over the edge of the table. Once again, we're going to have my little roll here. So, I've got to think again, when, I, when, when I'm externally rotating, what's happening? So, here's my external rotation. My foot's going in. So, you see, if I wouldn't have moved her, she's going to hit that leg, right? So, that's, you've got to move that leg out of the way. Good. So, hip external rotation in gra against gravity, um, seated with knee flex, hanging over the table. So, you're going to stabilize at the lateral aspect of the knee on the side to be tested. You're going to resist. So, go ahead and rotate your leg up there for me. Great. So, she's got full range of motion against gravity. So, I'm going to stabilize here at the knee. Good. On that lateral side, as I am pulling down, not at her toes, right? I'm on her um, tibia, on the distal tibia. Good. Don't let me pull you down. Min, mod, max. Okay. So there's your gra against gravity position. Um, gravity eliminated, you can either be lying down supine. Good. And you start, so here's internal now, and here's external rotation. So you're going to start in that internal position, and you're going to say, can you go ahead and turn your toes all the way out for me? Good. So then she just had full external rotation in a gravity eliminated position. And then when I apply resistance, I'm coming up here to the femur and trying to push it back in, right? Not the foot, because I don't want to test the knee and the ankle. All the way up here to that last bony part of the segment. Good. Or you can have them stand up. Go ahead and have them stand on one foot. Looks like we're testing the right foot. Okay, so if that's the case, so I'm going to be over here so you can put your hand on my shoulder. Good. And straighten out that leg. Good. And start with your toes towards the inside. Good. Now go ahead and totally externally rotate that hip. See that? And then I can apply resistance, mid resistance mm -hmm. there. So either way is your gravity eliminated, either standing or supine. It's going to be easier in supine if somebody really has that weakness because for them to stand on one foot is going to be hard. 
but either would be accepted. Okay? If external rotation, there's your pictures, prime movers, and where to palpate. Internal rotation, same thing, seated on the table, knees flexed on the edge of the table with your nice little roll up there so that you are um, in a good plane of motion here with that femur. So now we are going to internally rotate so that foot's coming away from midline while we're seated. So against gravity, um, go ahead and put, bring your arm out or foot up here for me. Great. So there's your full motion there. I'm going to stabilize on the medial knee. My resistance is going to be on that um, lateral malleola, right? Don't make me push you down. Min, ma, uh, max. Okay. If she doesn't have at least more than half, so here to there. So if she has like that much motion, I'm going to passively gently range her because <laughs> I'm not going to let her um, compensate by leaning over. Good. And then I will put her into gravity eliminate position. Once again, you can go supine. Starting in that external rotation, good. And just always think what that, um, what the femur's doing, okay? I know it's hard to like you, uh, memorize everything, but just think about it, right? You're gonna start, if you're testing internal rotation, you're gonna really externally rotate that hip, okay? Which gets confusing because now your toes are going lateral when your knee's straight. So go ahead and um, turn your foot to, all the way over for me. Good. Great job. So then she's got full internal rotation, and then I would apply resistance trying to turn her into external rotation. Or she can stand up, which all my patients could move this easily. Then we could get through all this stuff quickly. Okay, so then you, um, you can put, go ahead and put your hand on my shoulder. Go ahead and straighten that leg for me. Go ahead and start with your toes pointed out. Good. Go ahead and totally rotate them all the way in. Good. I'm going to put a little bit of resistance here. Good. And she's able to see me. All right, I think that's all of our hips. Yeah? 